Hi, I'm Sam from Midas, and today I'm going to introduce you to the new Midas AS88. The AS88 is a fully redundant Hypermax Snake to Supermac AES50 converter with dual redundant switched mode power supplies, providing full cable redundancy for both Snake and AES50 connections to any of our I.O. units which support XY redundancy. So starting on the rear of the unit here, we have these two AC inlets with independent switches which take a standard IEC13 plug. Only one power supply is required to power the unit fully, with the second being used for redundancy in the event of a power supply failure. Moving along, we have the fully redundant X and Y snake ports provided in both optical and copper format, followed by eight pairs of AES50 ports here. This means you can connect up to eight IO units to an HD console with dual redundant connections throughout. Let's start with Hypermac. So we can connect both snake ports to the rear of an HD console that has the Hypermac redundancy option turned on in the DSP configuration. In this instance, one connection is the active and the other is the secondary redundant connection. You can identify which snake is currently active by looking at the green LEDs on the front. The active connection, in this case snake X, will be slowly pulsing, while the secondary redundant connection, snake Y, will be solid green. In this state, all 192 channels of audio are being sent and received on both connections. Now, if we disconnect the active snake, you will notice that the pulsing LED is now on what was previously the secondary connection, snake Y. If we reconnect this cable, this will now become the secondary connection. Now let's take a look at the AES50 ports. Across the top here, we have the X ports that are number one to eight, and across the bottom are the Y ports. You can connect any of our I.O. units that support XY redundancy to a single pair of ports, like this. Units that support XY redundancy are the DL15 range, the DL231 and the DL431. As an example, we could connect two DL231 units, X and Y, to the first pairs and add a DL155 to the third. Now, if you want to use the DL251 or 252, which do not support XY redundancy, this is still possible simply by skipping the Y port connection. You can connect the first two connections from the DL251 to two of the X ports. This will provide audio and data, but without cable redundancy. We can use AS80 to generate redundant snake connections while still keeping the snake ports independent on the HD. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In our first example here, we're keeping a snake port free for Cobalt, providing 192 channels for recording or playback. Next up, we're duplicating the AS88 setup on the second snake port. This allows for up to 16 IO boxes on the system. Finally, let's have a look at the ethernet port and the configuration page. This can be accessed by connecting a computer via the ethernet port, and typing in the IP address of the AS88. You'll need to configure your laptop's ethernet adapter to a compatible address. Via this web page, you can access all of the AS88 settings. The first setting to pay attention to is the IP address. To use the AS88 with an HD console, the required IP address will be dependent on your configuration. When used on Snake 1 or on both snakes with Hypermac redundancy on, the required IP is 192.168.80.1. If you're connecting the AS88 to Snake 2, it will need to be set to 192.168.81.1. You can configure the clock from this web page. However, this is going to be changed automatically based on the settings you've chosen in the HD. You can also update the firmware here by downloading the update file from mCloud, that's cloud.midasconsoles.com, and following the instructions when you click Update Firmware. However, when connected to an HD console, the AS88 will be recognized in the IO updater and can be updated via the snake connection. 
So that is an introduction to the new Midas AS88. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe to be the first to get Midas content. And for more information, you can go to www.midasconsoles.com.